Hello friends, I am Bodhi Chetan from NB Mehta Science College, Bodhi. Today we'll study about insect growth regulator. This topic is a part of organic chemistry paper 3 that is natural product and spectroscopy and in that unit 2. So let's start the topic. In this lecture, we will study and understand about insect growth regulator and structure of juvenile hormone. So let's get started. By looking at these pictures of insects, what do you feel student friends? Right, we think of clicking picture of it. But very next moment, if we see these insects in our house or surroundings, then we think of killing these insects or think of calling pest control agencies as these insects call for a disease. Student friends, have we ever thought that which chemicals are used for controlling this pest? Answer to this question we'll get in this lecture. In order to understand this in a systematic way, we'll consider a simplest example of cockroach. Cockroach belong to the class of arthropods that is this insects commonly have exoskeleton which are rigid. They shed this exoskeleton in order to grow and this process is called as molting which is an important biological part of their life. Molting is possible only due to juvenile hormone present in them and this juvenile hormone in a cockroach is secreted by a pair of endocrine gland behind the brain called corpora alata. So this juvenile hormone controls many activities in their body. So it controls the activities like how many times a nymph or larva will molt, how long it takes to molt and it also decides the time for the final molt to emerge into an adult reproductive stage. If juvenile hormone is present in an abnormal amount then nymph may not reach the critical adult stage. If nymph are lucky enough to develop into an adult cockroach then they are usually crippled or deformed. Nymphs are prevented from properly forming new exoskeleton which leads to dehydration and finally die. So here we understand that if juvenile hormone in this insects are in abnormal amount then their reproduction rate is reduced. Now it is easy for us to understand insect growth regulator. So we can define insect growth regulator are the insecticides that mimics juvenile hormone in young insect which disrupt their growth and reproduction. So in a simplest way we can say that these insect growth regulators are the man-made chemicals whose structure is almost similar to that of the juvenile hormone which are found in young insect and which is responsible for their growth. So these insect growth regulators interfere with the natural juvenile hormone of young cockroaches and disrupt their growth as well as reproduction. So commonly used insect growth regulators are methoprene. It is more popularly used to control mosquito, fleas, is an also effective against cockroaches. It is ingredient of popular brand Precor and Altocid. Another example is Pyriproxifen, Nylar. 
it is an active ingredient of ny guard insect growth regulator concentrate it is non volatile and photostable due to which it is used indoors as well as outdoors adult cockroaches mostly survive insect growth regulator treatment and therefore it is necessary to implement integrated pest management that is we have to make some other insecticides in combination with insect growth regulator which directly kill the cockroaches if it comes in contact with that insecticides insect growth regulators are harmless to human birds fishes and other vertebrates because this hormones targeted by insect growth regulators are not present in them bees however can be affected by insect growth regulator so care should be taken that not to harm this good insects now we will start with second part of this lecture that is knowing about the structure of juvenile hormone manufacturing of analog or mimics of juvenile hormone that is insect growth regulator would not have been possible unless by knowing the exact structure and properties of this hormone the first discovery of juvenile hormone was done by vincent wigglesworth later in 1965 williams and slema extracted the juvenile hormone from the abdomen of male giant silkworm moth and was isolated by molecular distillation at 60 to 90 degrees celsius under reduced pressure and then by purifying it with the help of chromatographic techniques it was labeled as jh1 or jh18 it means that its carbon skeleton contains 18 carbon atom these juvenile hormones are a cyclic unsaturated epoxy ester containing 18 17 and 16 carbon atom in their skeleton based on the number of carbon atom present they are classified as jh1 jh2 and jh3 respectively so let's draw the structure of jh1 structure of jh1 or jh18 jh18 means it contains 18 carbon atom so first we'll recall the definition of juvenile hormone that is they are acyclic means it contains straight chain they are unsaturated means it contains double or triple bond epoxy ester means they are acyclic unsaturated epoxy ester it contains epoxy group as well as ester group in order to memorize the structure in a simplest way we'll remember this that longest chain will contain 13 carbon atom and at the top there will be 6 carbon atom so we'll start with the structure so 1 2 3 4 5 6 in this way so 6 carbon atom at the top 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we will say double bond o and o ch3 fine so this is ester but which ester we call it as methyl ester so afterwards we'll write that but first we'll number this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 here 12 and 13 so overall it contains 13 carbon atom fine now we'll write its name it contains it is methyl ester so i'll write it as methyl and ester and ester ends with o it o a t e fine so this is methyl o it now over here on second carbon atom and on sixth carbon atom it contains double bond 
so i write it as 2 6 and i in poet overall it contains 13 carbon atom so also we write it as tri deca so tri deca 2 6 dine and poet on 10th carbon atom and 11th carbon atom it contains epoxy group so i'll write it as 10 11 epoxy then on third group as well as on on third carbon as well as on 11 carbon there is methyl group and on seventh carbon atom there is ethyl group so alphabetically ethyl comes first so i'll write it as 7 ethyl and on third and 11 there are two methyl groups so i'll write it as 3 11 dimethyl so this is structure for gh1 or it is also called as gh18 because it contains 18 carbon atom now let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 so overall it contains 18 carbon atom mayor later confirmed the structure of gh1 he found that second compound with the GH activity in the Cecropia extract. It has the same structure as GH1, except for a methyl group at C7 carbon atom instead of ethyl group. It was designated as GH2. So let's draw the structure of GH2. structure of GH2 or GH17 same as that of GH1 longest chain will contain 13 carbon atom and at the top there are 6 carbon atom so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 6 carbon atom at the top so this is ester group double bond O and O CH3 so we write it as methyl ester ester ends with O8 O a T E 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 over here 12 and 13 so longest chain contain 13 carbon atom on second there is double bond and on sixth there is double bond so I write it as 2 6 die in Poet. 13 carbon atom so we write it as tri deca tri deca 2 6 dine oit now on seventh group there is methyl group in gh1 over here there was ethyl group and on third position also there is methyl on 11th also there is ethyl and on 10th position there is one epoxy group so we write it as 10 over here dash epoxy then on third 7 and 11 there are three methyl group so 3 7 and 11 try methyl try deca 2 6 dine o8 total 17 carbon atoms so over here 13 14 15 16 and 17 so overall 17 carbon atom gh1 and gh2 are present in the ratio of about 4 is to 1 in male silkworm moth. Later, JH3 was isolated from the culture media of Corpora alata. Its structure was similar to that of JH2. So let's draw the structure of JH3. Now in structure of GH3 or GH16 means overall it contains 16 carbon atom in GH1 longest chain contained 13 carbon atom but in this case longest chain will contain 12 carbon atom and 6 carbon atom will be at the top. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have double bond O and OCH3. So this is Easter group. So I will write it as 
मिथिल ईस्टर ईस्टर एंड्स विथ ओ ए टी ई फाइन सो दिस इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन एंड देन ट्वेल्व सो लॉन्गेस्ट चेन कंटेंट्स ओनली ट्वेल्व का बन आइटम एंड ऑन सेकेंड एंड सिक्स पोजिशन देर इज डबल बॉन्ड डबल बॉन्ड आई राइट इट एस टू सिक्स डाई इन मीन्स टू डबल बॉन्ड लॉन्गेस्ट चेन कंटेंट्स ट्वेल्व का बन आइटम सो ट्वेल्व का बन आइटम्स वी राइट इट एस डो डेका डो डेका टू सिक्स डाइन ओ एट ऑन थर्ड कार्बन एटम दर इज मिथिल सेवेंथ कार्बन एटम दर इज मिथिल एंड ऑन लेवन कार्बन एटम दर इज मिथिल ग्रुप एज वेल एज ऑन टेन एंड लेवन दर इज वन इपॉक्सी ग्रुप सो वी राइट इट एज टेन लेवन इपॉक्सी एंड थ्री सेवन एंड लेवन ट्राई मिथिल थ्री सेवन लेवन ट्राई मिथिल डो डेका टू सिक्स डाइन ओ एट दैट इज आई यू पी एस इन एम फॉर जी एच थ्री और जी एच सिक्सटीन मीन्स ओवरऑल इट कंटेंट्स सिक्सटीन कार्बन आइटम्स टर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड वन सिक्सटीन 